All right, Paulie, I uh, just wanted to ask you, man, obviously you said that you never felt this good making weight before since 140, and I spoke to Memo, and he says he disagrees with you. He feels that his training regimen can add power to Paulie Malinaji. Well, here's the thing. We, he helped me make the weight, he helped me with the dieting, and he's a very intelligent guy, but we didn't do a lot of the strength stuff that we, were, we had worked on for the O'Connor fight because I didn't want to work on anything new. I didn't want to work on anything new. Um, in this training camp, it was too, too, it was too big of a fight. So, more so, Memo came in handy, really helping me make the weight, and he really was helped me. He really did help me out a lot of making the weight. There were certain things as far as certain kinds of foods he wanted me to eat. You know, there's a lot of foods are healthy, but not a lot of healthy foods are the right foods for when you're making weight. Or certain times they might be the right foods, but not other times. So that Memo helped me understand when to take what foods. They might, you might have a table full of healthy food, but maybe this kind of healthy food you can't have at this time. Or this kind of healthy food you might only be able to have earlier in camp and not later in camp. So all that stuff makes a big difference. I, you know, I didn't know that. I just figured as long as you eat healthy, you're good. But um, so you know, in terms of in that regard, he uh, he really helped out a lot, and uh, yeah, that's why I made I made the way pretty well. Now, obviously, you've been on both sides of the ropes, uh, in the ring and outside, being a commentator. Um, with your keen eye. Does Garcia look like he made this weight healthy because his struggle at 140 was the weight? Do you feel that he was able to make this weight 100%? Um, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not a doctor in that way or anything like that. However he shows up tomorrow, I mean, we'll find out. You know, I'm not, I wasn't, I mean, when you, when you just moved up in weight, you don't figure like you're going to have a trouble making the weight. You'll always work to make the weight, don't get me wrong. I mean, when guys move up in weight, they're not losing weight. They're actually just losing they're not gaining weight, they're actually just losing less weight to make weight. So, it always helps to keep on seven extra pounds when you can't make the other weight anymore. So, I'm sure he's fine. I remember that when I made the weight jump from 40 to 47 and it felt a lot better. So you did a little posturing, got on your tippy toes for him, uh, and he, he flexed for you. How, how did you take that, that face off? Oh, because he had shoes on. I didn't have shoes on. So I was like, dude, you look too much. You look a little, you're, you're taller than me than you should be. He wasn't that much taller than me, but with, I was barefoot. He had shoes on, so I'm like, yo. I'm like, he's cheating on the stand down, so I got on my toes. All right, this is uh, my co-host, the casual fan. What's up, man? Paul Monty, pleasure to meet you. Real quick question, a casual question. What's the weights on your wrist for? Oh, on fight week, I always, I've been doing this since the amateurs. I just put on weights on my wrists. Just so everything I do, I, I do everything with them except train. Because if I train with weights, then I feel like my hands are going to lose control if I throw punches. So I do everything except train. So I'll leave with wrist weights on. I just drive with my wrist weights on. What happens is find out from the my weight, my, the weight on my wrist, get, it, I get used to carrying it around. But when I take it off, I'll be lighter. So when I put the gloves on, it's actually less weight on my wrist than I've had all week. So it's, it, maybe it's mental, but it helps me out. So it's a benefit is uh, give you more speed? Yeah, yeah, help this to kind of help me control my speed better, you know? That right. way when I have the gloves on, it's lighter weight than I've had on all week, so I can control it better. One more quick question. You got, like Ness said, the keen eye outside of the ring. Describe your opponent for me. Uh, you know, I, I just know him for being like Hispanic with power, the left hook. Describe him a little more in depth for me. Describe um, his style. I think his style is to punch with you. Uh, if, he, he, if you get reckless, if you sleep on him for a second, you know, he will catch you. Um, a lot of people think he's looking down or he's not looking when he punches. It's, it, it, sometimes he's not, but it's, the case it remains that he, it's still a timing thing with him. He's looking at catch you as you're committing to your offense and if you can get your maximum commitment to your offense and get you you know that's 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 what makes him effective and that's what how he got guys like Amir Khan that's how he knocked when he knocked out Morales caught him with the same thing you know it's a uh, it's something that's worked for him and uh, you know you obviously have to when you're pulling the trigger you have to be alert with a guy like that right. well, a pleasure to meet you Paulie thanks very thank much you. all right thanks, thanks. All right, Paulie thank you brother